2023 commit Darius Taylor is joining us today. You're not going to want to miss what he has to say coming up next. Locked on Golden Gophers, your daily podcast on the Minnesota Golden Gophers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You're listening to the Locked On Golden Gophers podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We're going to jump right into it, folks. We have an interview with Darius Taylor, but first off, I want to apologize for some of the issues that we had with Restream on this interview. My questions cut out quite frequently, and I'm looking into getting the issue solved, not only myself, but other producers on hand at the Locked On Podcast Network. So I apologize ahead of time. That being said, Wherever you are getting your podcast, you can look in the information below and see all of the questions which I asked Darius. Thankfully, Darius's interview audio came through clean and clear, so his answers are great. My questions are choppy. Again, I apologize, and we are getting that fixed ASAP, but let's wait no further. Let's jump into the interview right now. All right, Gopher fans, welcome. Gophers, I got none other than Darius Taylor joining the show here with us. 2023 commit. He led his teams in rushing yards, receiving. He can do it all, folks. I'm telling you right now. So welcome to the commit running back, Darius Taylor. Glad to have you. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to just just jump in to the first question right away. Offers and love from many schools all over, over 30 offers, including Big Ten schools like Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Purdue, came to the recruiting process. What stood out to Minnesota and the Gophers? Um, what stood out to me was really the relationships I built with all the coaches there. Not even just Coach Burns and Coach Fleck. But Coach Callahan and other coaches, everyone was welcoming and stuff like that. And I also talked to a lot of players, and they were all cool. And they they told me the real, told me like, I mean, what they tell you on the recruiting visits is what it really is. So I just felt like, with that being said, overall that was a good place. But then on top of that, I also liked the facilities, my the position I'll be in coming in with the depth chart things like that. Overall, I just really loved it there. Awesome. All right, so then when you visited the state, so did they bring you to any good food spots or what was your favorite thing on your visit? Um, my favorite thing on the visit was just, it was the campus tour, really. I got to see like the skyline, you know, okay. right the city. And I've always wanted to go to school in a city, so it was really cool just to be in a city. So going over to the city, seeing how it was, you know, that that was that was the highlight of my time. I got to ask you, this is just a fun question. Have you ever had Raising Cane's before? <laughs> yeah, I have had Raising Cane's. Actually, they did bring us some for lunch when I was there. That was my first time having it. Okay, I had to ask because I was I was looking up some fun questions for later in the show, which we'll get to one in Michigan, and I was like, I got to make sure he's had it, and if he hasn't, when he comes, he's got to check it out. So I just, oh, yeah. all right, so good. yeah, good, good. Did have a curious question about if you with rivals, you had mentioned having a good vibe with Bucky Irving, and I got to ask. Did it, was it portal and did that affect anything for you? Um, I mean, I understand that college football is a business. So, I mean, I knew I grew that little relationship with him, but I mean, that's his decision and he did what's best for him. Like it didn't really affect me because I knew what I was going into and the program that I think would be best for me. So it wasn't necessarily, I didn't decide the school based on completely relationships. So I knew like it's still a good fit for me. So it didn't really affect me. Good, good to hear. And I ask it out there just because I know. Like, is this person gonna leave? Wait, what's that? We're gonna put their minds to eat. You know what? You like Minnesota for you, and 
about anybody else. I just want to get that out there. But speaking relationships, I saw that on a more positive note, your best friend, your high school teammate, and now your boy is now your college commit Minnesota as well. You're both headed this way. Many Gophers fans might not be as familiar with them. So now's your time. Hype up your boy. What is awesome that he brings to the field and why you're looking forward to both of you guys coming out here? Okay. So Drew is, is really good on the board. So cerebrally, he knows pretty much everything. He has a great arm. He can just, he can do it all. And he's a, he's a great leader. And like he said, it's my best friend. So I love that guy. Awesome. Well, let you guys get to share that moment together. That's going to be on and out here. But you still got senior season. You still got – so enough talking about other people, enough talking about – we're talking about you, Darius Taylor. So, so far in your career on the field, what has been your favorite moment? Um, My favorite moment was probably the playoff – the first round of playoffs last season. Um. So we came into the game as the underdogs, projected to lose by three touchdowns. And um, the first, I think the first possession of the game, we had the ball. And I fumbled for the first time in my life. And then we went on defense, we got the ball back. And pretty much every time I touched the ball after that, I got probably 20 yards plus. And the play right after that, I scored. Hey. You know, it was Hey, that's what you hear. I mean, you shook it off and you got back in it. Quick, quiz preach. And you pre you showed that right away in the biggest moment on a playoff game. So you hear it. Now, overall, who are some players that you like to watch or study when it comes to improving or elevating? Um, I say the main person I watch is Alvin Kamara. Because he's, I mean, he can run the ball, catch the ball, and he's not the fastest guy, so he, he uses a lot of technique and his mind to actually compete with these faster guys. Okay, okay, I feel that. Now, Quan was on the show a couple, let me know that you guys in the class of 23 already chatting it up, so how has it been connecting with the other 23 commits in the group chats? Oh, it's been great. Everybody's cool. Everybody's getting along well. Um, I'd say Dominic Lyman. So they all they all making jokes and stuff. They're all funny guys. It's been cool. <laughs> and it was also through in there too. Got you. All right. So before we jump into some fun questions, I'm just gonna talk about our friends over at Bet Online. Is where you can get information, finding out the latest trends in action the over unders and win totals up there right now they've got the gophers listed at seven you here on the show smash the over on that because we're getting more than seven wins so go over to bet online find out more about the latest trends and actions where the game starts so we're going to jump in to a bit more fun questions. And the first one I give you is, do you have any nicknames that you enjoyed and want to continue at the next level? Um, I don't really have any nicknames. Everybody just calls me Darius. Okay. All right. And then another question is, what is your favorite? Um, I'd say... Either the Saints or the Rams. Okay. Favorite NFL player? Alvin Kamara. Favorite non-running back NFL player? <laughs> uh, probably OBJ or Matt Stafford. Okay. Now, what is your good? TV show that you like to watch fall back on or, or something you're watching now what are you watching um, right now I'm watching a TV show called Snowfall okay and then role model um, I'd say my role model is probably my my head coach and my uncle Jay 
All right. And then your favorite app and why? Um, I'd say Instagram because, I, I mean, I kind of just got, like, really focused on Instagram. I started building my, you know, my followers and things like that. So it's become really fun. All right. You got to shout out the handle so that as well. Yeah, it's Darius Taylor 14. Perfect. So be sure to go follow that. If you don't get a little bump, I'm going to be disappointed. So I'll get on the listeners. for Favorite pregame or postgame meal? Um, Pregame meal. We all eat the same meals at my high school. We eat chicken, pasta, and bread. So that's good. But postgame, it'll probably be okay. probably some chicken. Some chicken wings. Hey, you can't go wrong there. So I'm with you. What kind of wing sauce then? If you had to go with one wing sauce for the rest of your life, what's it going to be? Buffalo sauce for sure. Okay. All right. So you're headed to a national bowl game and you need the best drip for the pregame entrance. Where are you going to go shopping to find the fit? <laughs> um, I'd probably go... Are we talking? We talking just like walking into the door? Probably. Just, yeah, yeah. I probably go. I go somewhere like H and M, Forever Twenty One. You know, I'm a simple guy. I'm not a big flashy. I'm with that either. I love. All right, so why the number fourteen? Um, at the time when I first picked fourteen, I was a receiver primarily. So, like, one of the players I was looking up to was Stefan Diggs and Jarvis Landry. And they both were 14 at the time, so I just I just thought it was the right number to wear. Awesome. Because it's a flip of Alvin Kamara, so you got him kind of incorporated. It's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so Netflix, HBO Max, or Hulu, and why? Um, today I'm going to say Hulu because that's just what I've been watching Snowfall on for like the last two weeks. Yeah. Got you. Favorite movie of all time? Um, I'd probably say Big Daddy with Adam Sandler. Big Daddy. Okay, there we go. I... All right. So we're going to jump in to some more series, close it all out. But thank you again for joining. This. Truly appreciate it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So then what are some goals that you have coming up for your senior season and what you want to do in that final year? Um, going into the season, I'm focusing on just just leading my team making it to the state championship. But some personal goals I have is I like to break the, the rushing record at my school, like 2,600. So I'm, I'm looking to break that. Okay. And also touchdown record as well. Okay. And I hope you do. We're going to stay in post and make sure when you cross that threshold, when you get it, we'll be blasting it everywhere. So good luck to you on that this season. Now, with the official visit, Coming up this weekend, or something you're looking forward to being back in Minnesota? Um, I'm looking forward to. I know they told us we're gonna go out to Coach Flex Beach House, so that's gonna be sweet. Just being around all the commits and things like that, it's just gonna be a good time. Hey, that's awesome! I, I bet you you're gonna have a great time out there. So. You'll, we'll have to stay followed on your social media just in case anything pops out, us, anything cool like that. But good luck this weekend. Look forward to meeting some of the other guys. And hopefully we'll get some other commits coming on hand. Now, it's the moment you're trying to get potential recruits in 2023 to join you on why they should come and join Minnesota. Um, I've actually talked to a few guys that that are some prospects and i just tell them like when you get on campus you'll understand why we're saying come so just just come see it um everything's great there the coaching staff is a real coaching staff they they 
everything real. So I just feel like when a person gets around that, they'll understand just it's the place to be. Awesome. All right. So then what would you consider to be some strengths build? And then what is one aspect that you are looking to improve on as you head into your senior year? Um, I feel like something big that I bring to the table is that I'm a running back, but I can also catch very well with my receiving background. Um, I, I can play just like a receiver, and then I can also step into the backfield and run just as good as any other back. Something I think I need to work on, it'd probably be having good eyes, so looking in the right place at the right time. Okay. Now, with that, I noticed when you had first committed, you had mentioned how you're going to be used in the backfield, but also out of the slot and also doing the return. Do you like embracing all those and getting the ball in your hands in all the different ways? Yes, for sure. I feel like if you get the ball to me in open space, I can make something happen. So any way that you can do that, I love it. It's a, it's a great thing to have. Awesome. Well, I appreciate coming on the show. My final question for you is what is one thing you want the Gophers fans Um, I'd say I just wanted to know that I'm coming in ready to play early and I'm going to get the job done for the team. Thank you so much, Darius, for joining us on the show to see all you do in your senior season. And then with us, welcome to the squad. And thank you for taking If you ever want to come back on the show, I'm just definitely with you more than embracing coming back with you. Have a great rest of the day. This is the last time going go.